Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about LISN design and simulation in LTE SPICE. Okay, we will understand what is line impedance stabilization network. We will also understand how will you calculate the corner frequency for this LISN network. Friends, please join the channel membership by clicking on the join button here. Okay. Once you click on the join button, it will direct you for different options and based and you can see here, you can choose any option, whatever you want. And you can, once you click on, let's say you want to join the premium membership because only the premium members will be getting the exclusive access of LT Spice file. So just click on this premium membership. Once you click on the premium membership, you need to click the join button here right basically lisn is widely used in emc testing so let us say if you are talking about conducted emission testing so lisn is used to stabilize the output impedance okay so it's if you talk about line impedance stabilization network so it it gives the stabilize the output impedance uh, where, 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 wherever you connect your DOT, that is why it is called line impedance stabilization network. So, in if you talk about any other application, let us say this there is a, some a radio frequency noise which is coming from your AC main source. Since you have designed here low pass filter, okay, low pass filter, and so it will attenuate the high frequency noise coming from the power ports okay coming from the your ac main source so so you can see here this i have designed here one low pass filter that is l1 and c1 and the corner frequency for this low pass filter is 107 kilohertz why i have selected the corner frequency of 107 kilohertz because if you know if you talk about the different standard used in conducted emission testing let us talk about this per 14 or this per 22 they 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 says that the conducted emission frequency band is 150 kilohertz to 30 megahertz so what i am doing here i have decided to have the corner frequency something around 100 kilohertz so i have selected this c1470 and if you calculate the corner frequency for this l1 lc filter you can see here it will fc corner frequency equals to 1 divided by 2 pi root of lc if you do some maths you will get the corner frequency which is 100 107 kilohertz so my area of interest my my frequency of interest is 150 kilohertz to 30 megahertz that is why for this design i have selected the corner frequency at 107 kilohertz right 107 kilohertz so that means if your frequency is above 107 frequency uh, uh, 107 kilohertz which is coming from your ac main ac main port your this lc filter attenuate that frequency and you will have there is a your duty is free of the noise and it this you can use any value of lnc to have the 50 ohm impedance at emi receiver okay to stabilize the impedance you you because you don't want any any unwanted noise so so in order to get the repeatable value you need to have your impedance which is 50 ohm right now you can see there is a three terminal if you if you have uh, looked over the LISN network there will be a three terminal one is AC main port other one is where where you will connect your EUT or DUT right and other terminal where you will connect your EMI receiver so this is basically AC main port DUT where you will connect and this is where you will connect EMI receiver so now you can see here this C1 and L1 is designed to meet the corner frequency of uh, one not C and let me change the value of this to 2 ohm and i'll i'll later i'll explain why i have changed here now you can see to stabilize the output network i have chosen the c2 and r2 as 100 and and 1k you can choose 
any value unless and until you get you get the 50 ohm resistance so this is your objective here <clears throat> now this resistance value uh, this resistance value I have used to damp the response of your LC filter okay okay I'll change I'll change the value I'll tune the value of R1 and then I'll show you how this what is the role of this R1 to ohm resistance okay how it damping your uh, low pass filter okay so basically this LC create a low pass filter here so now let me directly jump to the simulation so what you need to do is here is it's very simple circuit i hope you will be able to draw this circuit in your alta spice tool okay and now you can see this eut and ut is common together and here what i'm doing is i'm running the ac analysis okay so if you click on this ac you can see here i have connected i have written here the ac1 source okay but you can see here none then i have written is ac1 okay because i want to run the ac analysis so in order to run the ac analysis what you need to do is you have to go at this simulate so in order to run the ac analysis what you need to do is you have to go at this simulate button then edit simulation command and you can see here i have selected the ac analysis and this decade the number of points per decade is 1k start frequency i am taking from 100 hertz to 200 megahertz just click on ok once you click on ok then you have to go run the simulation go at this run button and run the simulation okay now what i can do is maybe i'll go at window and i'll tile window vertically so that you can see both the schematic and your the frequency response here right so let me click on this point let me click on this point right so if you click on this point you are seeing here your how your filter low pass filter is working so let me add let me add a cursor here so attached cursor so maybe you can attach cursor and if you look at this point it is around if you like this point it is around 3 db point let me say you it is around if you click on here somewhere it's around 100 let me click on this point now you can see here this is 100 kilohertz you can see this this is around at 100 kilohertz if you go you, you can see down okay so this is around 100 kilohertz but you can see here there is a, some power which is around i would say 5 db so in order to damp this this resonance in order to damp this resonance what you need to do is you have to increase the damping resistance value let us do like 5 ohm here let me change the value of this resistance 5 ohm and let me run the simulation again and let me show you now you can see here now you can see here yo the power has been damped down and it is coming around 1.8 you can use maybe 6 ohm to damp it further so let me use 6 ohm and now you can see it has properly damped down and this is this may be minus 3 db 3 db point and you can see is your power has been damped down by using this damping resistance r1 now you can see at 100 kilohertz whatever your input is it's following uh, whatever your input you can see here this is passing the low frequency signal at an, until 100 kilohertz and above 100 kilohertz to 200 megahertz you can see it is your frequency response is damping down your magnitude is damping down here okay so though this is basically a single order low pass filter you can use multiple or uh, two or uh, three order low pass filter based on your requirement unless and until you are meeting your output impedance at 50 ohm okay so hope guys you have understood how will you design line impedance stabilization network in Alta Spice? If you have any further question, feel free to ask me in comment section.